After seeing the team in preseason practices and scrimmages against Wheeling Jesuit and UMBC, how do you describe their progress thus far? I think our progress has been great so far uh, this season. Uh, against both those teams, we had different goals that we wanted to accomplish each week. Against Wheeling Jesuit, we want to get out against a, another opponent other than playing ourselves for months. Uh, run our offense, run our defense, runs our rides and our, and our clearing. And uh, I think we were very successful against them in all that. Against UMBC, uh, they're a very quality opponent. They've won their conference in multiple years. They've been in NCAA tournaments. And just to be able to measure ourselves against an established program like them uh, was a great accomplishment for us. And I think we went toe-to-toe -to -toe with them for most of the aspects of the game. What are the differences between this year's team and last year's team, and where do you see the most improvement from last season? Uh, I see all-around improvement from last season. Uh, there's a much better understanding of our system, and I think that's the biggest change from this year to last year uh, is the guys embracing our system. They're used to it now. They know exactly what we're expecting from them every day when we step out on the field. You guys have a lot of young players on the team. Are there any first-year players that will look to contribute this season? Uh, there's actually quite a few uh, first-year players we're looking to contribute. Uh, Cole Killian at the D end. Uh, along with Shane Healy and, uh, and Mike Plisko, are both going to be in the mix uh, for the long stick midi spots. Uh, Taylor Stewart uh, is going to be facing off for us, playing some D midi, playing some man down for us. Tyler Kirkby is going to be on man up and getting some time at attack. Uh, so all around, we're, we're expecting those guys to do quite a bit. And the better that they play, the better our team's going to do this year. You get redshirt seniors Carson Leung and Luke Acton back from injury. What do they bring to the team? Uh, Carson is an all ECAC caliber midfielder. Uh, he's great on the offensive end of the field. He's also great on the defensive end of the field. Uh, but he really brings the between the lines, the transition game that we're trying to play this year. Uh, he's probably one of the best in the country at that. And Luke uh, is a terrific finisher around the cage. Uh, he's going to add a whole bunch of goals that we did not have last year uh, from that righty finishing spot. And he brings leadership, as does Carson. They're both captains, along with another fifth-year senior that we have, Trevor Timmerberg. Now in his second season, what has Coach Burns brought to the Bellarmine Lacrosse program? Well, I think with any new coach is a new identity, and I think having him here for a full year now and we're into our second, I think we've really established the identity that we want to have, and uh, with the upperclassmen, we, we're really taking the next step forward with it. What player or players do you think will surprise the fans with their play this season? Um, I think we have a really young teams, so I think there's a lot of guys that are not really on the radar yet. Um, we have some really good defensemen that have been here for a few years but haven't got a ton of playing time. Uh, Mike Bender, Sean Joyce, uh, Colin Hart when he gets back from injury. I think Reed Wesley will be a huge asset. On the offensive end, I feel uh, Brogan Hill um, didn't get a whole lot of playing time last year, but he runs the offense incredibly well. Um, Ryan Sinta got some playing time. He'll be a solid player. And uh, Will Haas is in the net this year starting right now, and I think he is going to be a huge asset to us as well. Uh, what do you feel are Bellarmine's biggest strengths this season? I think with the young team, I think uh, senior leadership is really important. Having myself, um, Carson Leung, and Luke Acton back as fifth-year seniors, we've been here for a while, we've been through a lot together, along with the senior class right below us. I think that uh, helps us establish that identity that Coach Burns is trying to, uh, trying to bring in. You mentioned leadership. How else would you define your role on the team? On the field, I feel as I'm more of a role player, kind of a workhorse type player. And off the field, I feel my leadership, being a fifth-year senior and being an older guy and been a captain for a couple years, that uh, mentoring the younger guys, putting them in positions to, to lead the team and take over once, once we leave, I think that's, that's probably how I would identify my role. What are you most looking forward to this season? Winning games, ECAC championship. Excellent. With Ohio State, Denver, Loyola, and Fairfield all ranked in the top 20 in the preseason, what are your expectations for the ECAC this year? I think the ECAC is going to continue to be one of the best, if not the best, lacrosse conference in the country. Uh, all those teams ranked in the top 20 are very, very good teams, very difficult for us to play. Uh, quite honestly, I think by the end of the season, you're going to have more ECAC teams ranked in the top 20 uh, before the tournament starts. Where do you see Bellarmine Lacrosse at the end of the season? Uh, at the end of the season, uh, I hope to be competing for the ECAC tournament. That is the team goal that we have for, for this year. Uh, once we reach that goal, we'll reset our goals, but that's what we're shooting for.